Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing all the details that you require to travel from India back to Germany. So I will be talking about the documents that you need, also about the mandatory form that you need to fill to uh, enter Germany. Also, I will be sharing my screen later in the video to uh, explain you uh, the entire part, how you should fill this form and uh, how you should upload your Corona negative documents and so on. So let's get quickly started with today's video. So I got my Corona negative report from uh, Neuberg Supratech. You can leave A1 empty. Uh, in A2 you have to fill all your personal details. Uh, including your other number or passport number and also you can uh, click this so uh, you can download Arugya set to app then in A3 you have to uh, write your patient category so for example uh, I was going to uh, travel to Germany so I clicked on travel now if there is some other purpose of uh, getting RT-PCR test then you can click there uh, then we come to section B uh, where you have to give your medical information so B1, B2 and B3 you can leave empty because you won't have any symptoms or signs if you are traveling uh, and in B4 like referring doctor details you can write the name of your family doctor his mobile number and his email ID after filling all these details you can click submit as soon as you click submit here you will get a token number as soon as your token number is called, you can go for RT-PCR test. It's really important that your Corona negative report has a QR code. So uh, when you go for getting a negative test report, please ask them to give you an RT-PCR that contains a QR code because it's a mandatory requirement for international travelers. So this is really important form which you need uh, to enter Germany. It's called Einreise Anmeldung. So you go to the website www.einreiseanmeldung.de. So it's like digital registration on entry. You choose English, then uh, specify the place where you have been. So the countries in the last 10 days, in my case, it was India. Then click next and then click here, enter details. So proof and symptoms. Do you have proof of vaccination? So in my case, it was a no. Do you have proof of recovery? In my case, it was yes, because I was Corona positive in March. So I had proof of recovery. Do you have a negative test result? Also, yes. Do you have symptoms typical of an infection uh, with coronavirus? No. And then click next. How you will be traveling? So of course, by plane. Travel details. So you have to write here your flight number. So let's write LH1727 uh, Lufthansa. So place of departure in my case was Mumbai, Maharashtra. Seat number let's say 03A. Date of entry was uh, 28th of June. But here you can enter uh, date just three days old and one day after your entry to the country so here i am entering uh, 6 july just for example stopover was at amsterdam then you can click next here you type your family name for example do Yane. Mail date of birth, let's say 23rd March 1993. Here you can enter your phone number, and then uh, enter your email address. So they will ask you for verification of data. Do you want it via email or via mobile number? I am choosing email. So you click next. Here you have to enter the verification of data. So the code entry which you have re received on your email address. So I received 649006. 
and then you press confirm code then you enter your address in Germany Hasselbeck house number for example let's say 17 apartment number W20 click next so potential exemptions from the obligation to quarantine I chose no information because I was not fitting into any other criteria and then click next and here is the summary of the entire form that you have filled and then you can click send now so you will get your data have been successfully transmitted now you can save this as PDF so it's saved as my PDF now this link that's given here uh, once you receive your corona negative test report you need to click this link and you need to upload your uh, corona negative test report here so the PDF file needs to be uploaded uh, you would have received a pin on your mail address as well as uh, via SMS on the number that you have entered so you need to enter that pin here and then submit coronavirus test result so I have received 827650 and I need to upload my document so let's say I upload a document and then submit coronavirus test results so your data have been successfully transmitted you may now close the application this is the entire process which you need to follow when you are in India before boarding the flight now sometimes it may happen that the server is not working it happened with my friend so in that case you need not worry in flight you will get a form which you need to fill so fill that form and submit it to the air hostess in the flight itself and you are good to go so my journey started at Rajkot airport and I reached the airport one hour prior to my departure with all the necessary documents that I mentioned so as soon as you enter the airport you need to get your luggage scanned at the scanning counter and if they find something unusual in your luggage they will ask you to open your luggage so please be very careful in putting uh, things inside your luggage and follow the instructions mentioned on the airline website now as soon as this process is done you will see here uh, counters so you need to go to your respective counter and once your check-in luggage is given at the counter then you need to uh, pass through the security check so you need to show your passport and your boarding pass and you also need to pass through frisking booth and once you cross the frisking booth you will uh, come to the area from where you will board your flight now wearing N95 mask was mandatory during the entire flight so uh, please be very careful and wear N95 mask for your own safety so it took my flight one hour to reach Mumbai airport from Rajkot airport and as soon as you enter the airport this is the way you need to follow to reach your baggage station in my case my luggage was going to come at luggage station 14 so I had to go there collect my luggage and change the terminal from domestic to international because in Mumbai both the airports are interconnected so you just need to change your terminal in order to board international flight now this yellow dustbin that you see is for bio waste so if you have any used mask or used sanitizer or something you can throw here and then uh, go further to your luggage station now you can follow this lane and also pick up your trolley and you can use this trolley to go to international terminal so after you take your trolley you can come to the luggage station and you can wait here until your luggage arrives and if you are a first time traveler be quick to pick up your luggage from the belt or else you will have to wait longer now once you have your luggage uh, you can follow the instructions on the hoardings of the airport and go to the international terminal before going there you will have to show your corona negative report to the security officers 
Now if you have little bit of time in hand, you can spend it here doing window shopping or purchasing things for yourself, your family members or friends. If not, you can go to departure as mentioned here. You can keep your trolley at the trolley bank and take stairs or escalator to go to the international terminal. So here you can check your departure, flight and time. So here are the counters of various flight operators and if you are confused about your counter then you can ask the security personnel standing there and he will guide you and as soon as you find your counter you need to wait in the queue now make sure that you are in this queue two or three hours prior to your departure because here you will have to submit your check-in luggage and also you will have to get your boarding pass and sometimes it is a lengthy process and if your transit is via Amsterdam, then you may have to fill this quarantine declaration form wherein you mention that you are in uh, Netherlands just for transit and your destination is uh, somewhere in Germany, maybe Frankfurt or Berlin. So you need to walk through this entire passage and here you will find few shops. If you want, you can visit those shops, but if you are running out of time then just cross this passage and as soon as you cross the passage you will see that you will have to scan your boarding pass here and after scanning you will enter here and then you have to uh, get your backpack and your cabin luggage scanned here at the counter then you have to pass to the immigration check where your passport boarding pass and everything will be checked and then you will enter this Mumbai duty free shops here you can do window shopping or you can buy things if you have capacity in your luggage so you go to the gate which is mentioned on your boarding pass and as soon as you are at the gate you will have to again go through the screening process where your luggages will be checked and then you basically board the flight So once you have landed in Amsterdam, you can follow the way which is mentioned here in the video and at that time you won't be knowing at which gate you have to go. So here are the screens where you can check where your flight to Berlin or Frankfurt will be there. So at this place of the airport, you will have to go through the immigration check. So it took around one and a half hours to reach from Amsterdam to Berlin. So I booked a taxi via Bolt app and it cost me around 32 euros from Berlin Brandenburg airport to Berlin Hauptbahnhof. And then I had already booked an ICE from Berlin Hauptbahnhof to Halle Hauptbahnhof. So this was the video guys. I hope this video proves to be really helpful for all of you, especially the first time travelers. Now if you still have some doubts, feel free to write them in the comment section below and I will try to answer all of them.
and if you really like the video then give it a thumbs up and share the video with your friends who are going to travel to germany so that's it for this video guys see you in the next video till then bye take care and stay safe